as we begin the second quarter, 6-0 Miami. Third down facing the Eagles. They've converted only one of four so far today. It's third and four. O'Brien to Herschel Walker in the flat. One man to beat, a linebacker, and Walker is wrapped up and stopped by Brian Cox. Cox went one-on-one -on -one with Walker and won the battle decisively. Now scuffle. Thompson with a push of Brian Cox. Roderick Thompson. <laughs> One thing I can tell you is Brian Cox is not afraid of anybody. I remember a Monday night football game. He charged all the way across the field to take on the entire Cincinnati Bengals team <laughs> after a fight. Did a nice job of clearing out the zone so Herschel could go one-on-one -on -one against Brian Cox. Unfortunately, Brian Cox was the better athlete in that situation. Hunt Great by Fegels. Fair catch called for and then down by the Eagles at the one. Vaughn Hebron, the rookie, made a catch of the punt to down it at the one-yard line. Officially 40 yards, but a great, great play by Vaughn Hebron. Let's go to Jim Lampley in New York. Jim? For the day's critical college football note, earlier we showed you the CNN USA Today coaches poll with Notre Dame ranked number one in Nebraska with a 10-point margin over Florida State for second. Here's the other half of the story. The AP poll has Florida State ahead of Nebraska by 77 points. Net result in the bold coalition poll, Florida State is number two. Now let's go back to Tom and Chris. All right, Jim, thanks. So if that would hold, it might mean a rematch between Notre Dame and Florida State, but still a lot of games to be played, including... A tough one next week, Boston College for the Irish, coming off that emotional high. Back up to the one. Here are the Dolphins trying to pound it out. Mark Higgs gets only a yard. Just a beautiful play. Remember that the punt team, as long as the receiver is nowhere around, has the right to catch the ball in the air. Beautiful kick by the Eagles and tremendous coverage down the field. And we've got a big moment going in the ball game right now because if this Eagles defense can make a stand, force the Dolphins to punt out of their own end zone, maybe the offense will wake up and create a little excitement in this crowd. Thus far, Miami only six yards rushing against the NFL's worst rush defense, trying to pound it out of their own end zone here. Play action pass. Mitchell swings to Byers. He dropped it. Boy, just beautifully set up by the Dolphins off the play action. Really kind of a short yardage offense play. Byers wide open, had plenty of room to run. And I don't know if it's a case of the jitters or exactly what's going on, but Keith Byers just does not drop a pass like that. Miami's been good on third down conversions. This is a crucial one at their own one yard line, leading 6-0. Mitchell completes the pass, but only to the five-yard line. Well short of the first down. Fryer made the catch and then was immediately dropped by Ben Smith. But, Tom, that's a good play by the Miami Dolphins because they were backed up on their own one-yard line. What Don Shula wants to do here is just give his punter enough room to kick this football out of here. Fifteen yards is what they need now, and that's what they've gotten. Just a very simple pattern, and... Ben Smith was more than happy to give that to the Miami Dolphins. Dale Hatcher standing at the back of his own end zone. Steps up and delivers an end-over-end -end punt. Sikahema at the 44. Dances his way to the 40. Cuts up and dives close to the 35-yard line. Sikahema with that return over 3,000 for his career. Only the third in NFL history. 6-0 Miami, but great field position for the Eagles after special teams play excellence. Otis Smith made the catch of a punt at the 1. The defense held, and now the Eagles begin at the Miami 36. And a huge drive for the Eagles offense. Now, they haven't scored more than 10 points in the last four games. They need to take advantage of this field position. Vaughn Hebron, the rookie, on the pitch. To the outside, he's got a first down. Lowers his head and bangs to the 22-yard line. Run out by Lewis Oliver. Thir or 12 yards it is for Hebron on his first carry. 
The Eagles offense has really struggled in the last four games without Randall Cunningham. As you can see, not one game over 300 yards of offense. In the first four games with Cunningham and Fred Barnett, they averaged 363 per game. Nice bit of excitement there by Von Heber to wake up the crowd. He's going to try the other side on the pitch. And again, has pretty good success. Keeps his balance. And is stopped just short of the 15-yard line. Dwight Hollier finally tripped up. The rookie free agent from Virginia Tech. And Tom, I just don't understand how you don't give Von Heber the football. Here's a guy that just adds another dimension to your offense. I asked Rich Kotite that very question yesterday, and he said simply that Herschel Walker and Heath Sherman have been outplaying him. I find that a little hard to believe. 38 total yards for the Eagles, but driving here, Hebron gets a flap on the corner, bounces to the outside, and again makes a tough run close to the first down. Troy Vincent on the tackle. What the Eagles lack offensively in their backfield is somebody with a little quickness. You see the speed, you see the quickness of Von Hebron, and here's a guy that can make something happen to you offensively. Herschel Walker has been playing very well, but I think on occasion, here's a guy that can add a spark to your offense. Three carries, 24 yards for Hebron. You saw his numbers at Virginia Tech, the former crap All-American from Baltimore. And the measurement giving the Eagles a first down. Hebron was an undrafted free agent, and sometimes I think that works against guys in the National Football League. They think that if they're not a high draft choice that they shouldn't be starting, but here's a guy that is really impressed. Hebron out, replaced by Heath Sherman in the backfield for the Eagles. to Sherman. Short gain on first down as the Eagles test the center of the Miami defense and Cross and Coleman combine on the tackle. Von Hebron coming back in the game to a nice ovation and just the quick trap right up the middle and nowhere to go. What Hebron is giving the Eagles offense is the ability to run outside, not inside. They've had no success inside, but outside, Hebron is giving them a spark. Eagles, 2,000 yards, scored 62 touchdowns in Baltimore High School career. They're going to pitch it to him again. Good blocking in front, and he slips and falls and is covered by Cox. Well, the spark just went out. Brian <laughs> Cox smothered him and took away the oxygen. Brian Cox has been all over the field defensively, made the play earlier against Herschel Walker. I think a message is being sent by Brian Cox that if you want to run the football, you might want to try it to the other side. He's lined up deep. Offensive line does, or defensive line does a nice job of keeping those offensive linemen off of him, allow them to scrape to the outside and make the play. Third and long for the Eagles. They converted only one of five third downs. Play action pass, O'Brien has time. Lost it for the end zone. Touchdown, Calvin Williams. was short motion in the backfield, and Troy Vincent was really left on an island. Williams was on the inside, and James Joseph was on the outside, and Ken O'Brien did a nice job of looking off Troy Vincent to hit the wide open Calvin Williams. And Barr's extra point gives the Eagles the lead. From Philadelphia, Tom Hammond, Chris Collinsworth, where the Eagles have just taken a 7-6 lead on the Dolphins. McDuffie from the goal line. OJ spun down at the 20-yard line by James Joseph. Here's the key guy, Troy Vincent, right here. When you're going to see Sherman or go back over here and then the receiver back in that side, and Troy Vincent is going to be left on an island, and Ken O'Brien does a nice job looking him off and then finding Calvin Williams in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. 